Locals in Puerto Rico are cleaning up after a hurricane battered the territory. This includes two people with ties to West Michigan who now live there. News 8's David Horak spoke with them and joins us from Kalamazoo with more. Healthcare worker Stephanie Price and her wife, Jan Wilson, who is now retired, lived on the northeast side of Grand Rapids, and they vividly remember straight line force winds of up to 80 miles an hour tearing through Michigan back in August of 2016. And they added, even that doesn't hold a candle to a Category 1 hurricane going through their new home. So we could see out little cracks in places, and so we would look out in the trees, the palm trees would just be like bent over. It. Both native Michiganders say waves reached as high as 18 feet in an area where they never see white caps. We didn't realize how the wind would, like how much wind it would be, like how strong that wind would be. Um, and we have a rooftop terrace too in our condo, and so we have some stuff up there, and we're like, uh oh, everything's gone. But it turned out everything wasn't gone, so it was good, but, but we were like, um, even the grill wasn't even flipped over. Thankfully, galvanized steel shutters prevented any further damage to their fifth floor condo in the southeastern city of Mauanabo. We were very, very fortunate. We've talked to people that are on the other side of the island that we met when we were here through the winter, and they didn't fare as well. But despite widespread damage and power outages, Price and Wilson say morale there is still high, with neighbors and complete strangers all helping each other. That's Puerto Rico. That's how people are, right? So everybody that we know, everybody that we don't even know, like our neighbor downstairs just said, hey, if you need anything or whatever, just let us, you know, let us know. Price and Wilson both say they are fine. In fact, they urge you to give whatever you can to a reputable charity directly helping those in Puerto Rico after Fiona. We're in our Kalamazoo studio, David Horak, News 8.